go ahead and we're off. Uh, when our game book beeps like that, that means we've got a clue um, we need, for an object we need to find. Winter coat, worn for a mixer. Okay, winter coat, worn for a mixer. Um, there's a lot of anagrams in these um, hints. This one, it happens that winter coat is an anagram for tonic water, so we're looking for some tonic water. Um, first, let's look at the map to see what parts of the house are available to us. Let me see the foyer and the library have diagonals through them. That means we have we can access those rooms. But we can't necessarily interact with everything in there. Um, sometimes we have to solve a puzzle first. Actually, most of the time we have to solve a puzzle first. Um, let's look on the second floor. Uh, we've got the hallway in Brian Dutton's room uh, open right now, and uh, third floor and beyond. Um, nothing. <laughs> so okay. So it's either probably in the foyer of the library or Brian Dutton's room. Um, happens to be in the library, so let's go ahead and go in there. Um, just like the first puzzle in the seventh guess was in the library, the first one in eleventh hour is in the library as well. Um, hey look, tonic water. You can grab it now, but um, we're actually going to do a puzzle first. That really doesn't matter, you can do the puzzle now. You'll have to come back later in the act uh, to do it anyway, so we might as well just do it now. As you see, the throbbing brain uh, indicates there's a puzzle that you need to solve. Um, as you can see, we've got some books that are arranged every other red and green. We, need to, we, can, move, we can only move them in adjacent pairs, and we have to move them so that all the green books are on the left and all the red books are on the right. We need to do this in four moves. Um, it's probably the easiest puzzle in the game. I'm able to go through it pretty quickly since I've done it before, um, but even if you've never uh, played this game before, you should be able to solve the puzzle within five to ten minutes easily. Um, but yeah, usually completing a puzzle in the room will cause it to, uh, on the map, instead of being, you know, diagonal lines through it, it'll be solid, meaning that you can interact with every object in there. Um, so if there's, um, you know, you're looking for an object based on the clues, the clue in the game book, um, you can go to that room and interact with everything there. Just Curse like that, you. solved it, Stop is pissed off, and now you can see, you can interact with objects we weren't able to before. The grasping hand um, is what that means. Um, Feeling mixed up. See, he's making fun of us because we got it wrong. Uh, so we can look around the library and see all these things we can interact with now. Before we could just interact with the tonic water, uh, now we can interact with everything that, uh, in the room, so let's go ahead and go back to the tonic water and grab it. It's going to give us a video clip we can watch now. So let's go ahead and watch that. Just okay. sit anywhere, honey. Menu's around the table. The cook in the back smoking. I don't remember too many restaurants with cooks that smoked even in the 90s in front of all the customers. Just going to have a seat. And oh, hey, look, waitress has a prosthetic hand. Interesting. Um, what actually comes into play later on. But for now, let's go ahead and close it and um, move along. And another clue, so let's see what this is. Rolling rock bottle cap. Hey, another anagram. In this case, a uh, rolling, or not rolling, rock uh, is an anagram for cork. So we're going to look for a cork. Um, so we're going to do, we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to right click to a uh, quick navigate here. Um, it's because sometimes these animations, when you navigate, can take a while, so I like to just skip through them. We're going to Brian Dutton's room on the second room on the second floor. Um, do you remember in the seventh guest? He had a like like a little thing with some champagne. So we're gonna look. Looks like someone jacked his mattress, but this is years later. So and we got another puzzle. It's a cash register. You might remember Brian Dutton was a. Uh, Basically, his goal was to have wealth and power, so it's not surprising there would be a cash register in his room. Um, to solve this puzzle, basically what we do, we have to divide the keys into two halves, left half and right half, and um, the keys we press have to be symmetrical on both sides, and they have to leave us with, uh, uh, basically on the left side, $81, on the right side, $0.81. Cents. When we push a key, it'll subtract um, that value from the the number on the left and add it to the number on the right. So we start out with 162 on the left, 0 on the right. Obviously we've got to get to 81 on both sides. There are multiple solutions to this puzzle, however I'm just going with one that's pretty easy to remember. The bottom row you're just going to push the 5 on the far left and the 10 on the far right. 
then you're going to push every key on the top row. That gives us 81 and 81, and a nice little symmetrical um, shape as well for both halves of the keys, so that satisfies that condition of the puzzle as well. Um, if you try to do a solution, there, there's a lot more solutions that'll just give you 81 on both sides, um, but the game uh, won't recognize it as a correct solution unless your um, halves are symmetrical, so be sure to do that if you're not going to do the solution that I'm doing. That is the one annoying thing about this puzzle is it takes forever. You could theoretically solve this thing in 15 seconds if you know the solution like I'm putting in. Except it takes a number a while for the numbers to pop up and for the key to go down. So we've only got two more now. I'm sorry, three more now. You can see the, the ten on the top row still. And then we'll solve then once the puzzle's solved we'll be able to interact with everything in here. And, um, like I said, remember that champagne that he had in his room from the seventh guest? Um, just because I remember paying a lot of attention to detail of that game as well. In fact, if you remember, the puzzle in his room in the seventh guest involved coins on a briefcase. So we've solved this one now. Stoff's gonna be pissed off. You'll not find the next one as pleasant. Actually, the next one's pretty easy too. We're gonna go down and, um, champagne, let's interact with the cork. And. Animation usually means that you got it right. It's Robin, look. Nice teeth. I'm researching a story in the staff mansion. Of course. Oh, um, she pissed off her waitress. You're the only person who survived an encounter with the mansion. Who told you that? Everyone else has either disappeared or died. Hmm. It's all just stories. And that's the mansion we're in right now. Awesome. Alright, um, we'll be right back to uh, continue on in the game.